Welcome to 2020. Hello to everyone. You are all looking so wonderful. I see some of you in your medallion. Congratulations. We're thrilled to have you joining us today. We'll be starting in just a few moments, just letting a few more attendees hop on this wonderful celebration. And if you have a quick moment to grab a celebratory beverage, we'll be wrapping up our celebration with a toast. So if you wanna have something on hand, we wanna cheers to you. <laughs> Again, thanks to everyone for joining us today. Hello and welcome to the class of 2020. It is wonderful to see all your smiling faces. The College of Arts and Sciences is proud to recognize your incredible accomplishment today. We are so honored to have you and your supporters joining us during this very special celebration. We do hope that you've been able to use the virtual background the college has made as we embrace the uniqueness of this remote ceremony. If you haven't been able to make that work, unfortunately I wasn't able to, that's no problem. We'd love to see your personal celebration happening in the background. I am Michelle Futo. I'm a two-time Florida State University alumna who had such a fantastic seminal experience that I never left. <laughs> I received my undergraduate degree in English education in 2016 and my master's degree in instructional design in 2019. I'm now the assistant director for mock interviews and employer development at the Florida State University Career Center. I am truly honored to be your host and MC for this momentous occasion. We'd love to begin our celebration today by welcoming the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, Dr. Sam Huckaba. Thank you so much, Michelle, uh, for that brief introduction. Good afternoon, everybody. Excuse me, good morning. It's not quite afternoon yet. It is uh, my pleasure to welcome you to this event to help celebrate graduation. Everybody looks fantastic up here on my computer screen. Um, and I mean that sincerely. I'm getting used to the Zoom uh, and, and understanding it. I'd like to first expend, extend a special welcome to any family members who have joined uh, this celebration. And also I want to recognize and welcome major professors and other faculty members who may be in attendance. Two months ago, uh, we were anticipating a very different type of celebration uh, for this very day. Instead, I think we can all agree that we are finishing the strangest of semesters. Uh, the disruptions caused by COVID-19 have, of course, hit every corner of society and of our lives. Here at FSU, students and faculty adjusted 
very quickly and very efficiently to make the best of the situation. For example, in the space of one week in the month of March, instructors migrated over 10,000 courses from a face-to-face -face setting to a remote setting. Many of you graduate students worked as TAs and RAs and were affected from both sides of, of this disruption. To you, this meant shifting your instruction to an online setting while at the same time shifting your learning to an online setting. And of course, everyone was affected uh, in their research programs by having to adjust. Through it all, you have succeeded, and now you're ready to graduate. This spring, you are part of a group of nearly 1,800 ANS students who will be graduating, covering over 70 majors. After you graduate, you will join a family of 100,000 ANS alumni across the nation and the world. We are here today to help you celebrate your graduation from FSU and to do so with, with hopefully enough flair to make this a reasonable um, substitute for what we wish we were able to do right now. As you prepare to pursue your personal and professional goals, I hope you will stay in touch and fuse a bond with the College of Arts and Sciences and with your departments. Today, we are here to celebrate you and your graduations. So to all of the masters and PhD candidates who have joined us, it is an honor for me to say congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dean Huckaba. We all at the College of Arts and Sciences absolutely echo those congratulations. Since we're all not together at the Civic Center today, we would love for everyone to reflect on their seminal experience and relish the memories you made when we were able to be on campus together the last few years. I'm going to share some experiences and seminal traditions Please raise your hand, wave, raise the roof if you want, if you shared in some of these very special Florida State memories. So who graduating today moved to Tallahassee to attend Florida State? I definitely did. <laughs> who among us today taught a class at Florida State? And who found themselves instructing via Zoom this spring and quickly became a Zoom wizard? Definitely me as well. <laughs> Please raise your hand if you held or hold a fellowship during your time as a graduate student. Who was involved with the Congress of Graduate Students? A great organization working so hard to make the graduate experience truly pristine. Which those of you have attended and or presented an academic or workshop in Tallahassee, nationally or internationally. Congratulations, what a great accolade. And which one of you had to unfortunately pivot to presenting virtually due to the very unique coronavirus situation? Definitely happened to me as well. <laughs> Lastly, please raise your hand high and proud if you are excited to be part of the graduating class of 2020. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> we express our sincerest congratulations to the class of 2020. This year did not end the way that we all thought it would, but we're so glad to have this time together today, and we thank you for joining us. If you are graduating today, please take a bow and allow us to give you a very well-deserved round of applause. Congratulations, graduates. I know we all feel that Florida State is family, and family means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. So we would love for those who supported you throughout your entire graduate school journey to also be recognized with the round of applause. 
We would not be here today without our wonderful support system. Huge thank you to all the supporters. It is now my honor to introduce Dr. Mark Riley, Dean of the Graduate School. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Mark Riley. I'm the Dean of the Graduate School, and I've been a professor here in physics for 30, close on 30 years now. Um, and what a place it is. You know, you don't stay this long unless you love it here and all the people here. And as we all know, FSU is all about family. So thank you for joining um, today. Um, I dearly, dearly wish I could uh, shake hands with each and every one of you today. It's not possible. This is the best we can do, but uh, I really send out my deep congratulations to each and every one of you. And just think of the momentous event of today. This is the culmination of years. Just think going back to kindergarten, you know, all that blood, sweat, and tears, all the homeworks, all the pressure. But all right, no, we did it. So, like Frodo Baggins from Lord of the Rings, you set off on an epic journey and you have done it. So, we're all so super proud of all of you and all those family members there too who helped you along the way. I suspect many of you had times you wanted to quit, but we're FSU, we don't do that. And if, uh, as I've said many times to my own graduate students, if it's too easy, it's no fun. You have been persistent. You are problem solvers extraordinaire. This is why you are so valuable to humanity. To quote Skipper from The Penguins of Madagascar, great movie to put on on a Friday night. You are the elite of the elite. And I know there's a lot of uncertainty out there, but we must keep calm, be safe, and carry on. Getting a degree from FSU is an amazing accomplishment, and you'll find your way, you will. And when you think of the history of humans on the planet, you know, this pale, fragile, pale blue dot of ours, this is the greatest time to be alive. The possibilities really are endless. And believe me, things will get better. Now, obviously, we're gonna miss you, but we want you all to go forth and be a game changer, someone who moves society and the human race forward. Seminoles, I know you're gonna make the world a better place. So put that seminal quality and passion into everything you do, but especially on a day like this, but also every other day, never forget the people you care about and let them know how much you appreciate and love all that they have done and all that they mean to you. So phone, Skype, text, Zoom, even when all this is over, go and visit people physically. How about that for a concept? You know, hugging in real life is, is a nice thing. So enjoy and cherish your family, your friends, Mother Earth, we all need each other. So again, congratulations. You've earned this special day. And in the immortal words of Monty Python, always look on the bright side of life. Go Knowles. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dean Riley. We would now like to welcome Kathy Berrios, Assistant Director of Experiential Learning and a Career Liaison within the College of Arts and Sciences for Humanities. Class of 2020, I'm Kathy Barrios. Some of you might recognize me from your handshake emails as one of the Career Center's liaisons for the College of Arts and Sciences. It is wonderful to see you all during this extra special occasion. 
On behalf of the FSC Career Center, congratulations on your graduation. We are sad to not be celebrating with you in person, but I know that I am not alone in feeling inspired by your continued resilience and perseverance to overcome the challenges this spring delivered while completing your degrees. At FSU, we have already seen your valuable contributions to this institution and cannot wait to hear about your successes in the future. To continue your legacy as alumni, and we ask you to continue sharing your expertise with future generations of FSU students by registering as a mentor through our Professional Mentor Program. Since 1988, the Professional Mentors Program has connected FSU students with alumni and friends of Florida State for career advice and guidance. Through our online platform, students can now connect with your direct advice anywhere in the world as they prepare their next steps. We would also like you to know that the FSU Career Center staff, including our graduate school career liaison, are here to support your career journey with our full line of alumni services, now and any time during your life after FSU. Those resources are available 24 seven online at career.fsu.edu. We look forward to connecting with you again and on behalf of the entire FSU Career Center team, congratulations on your accomplishments. Go Knowles. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kathy. It's great to hear from you and about the wonderful alumni services available through the Career Center. Graduates, during your tenure at Florida State, many of you have received prestigious fellowships, scholarships, and grant awards. Many of you have taught courses for FSU as a TA and conducted research as an RA. All of you have contributed significantly to the intellectual life of the university and have had life-changing experiences. As FSU alumni, we encourage you to join your fellow graduates and share your experience on FSU Grad World. I'm gonna share my screen and give you a brief look at this exciting FSU Graduate School Initiative. <laughs> GradWorld is a revolutionary website that looks and feels very similar to Google Earth. It displays a variety of different achievements from graduates and alumni all throughout the globe. When we enter GradWorld FSU, we are able to explore an interactive map and see a number of different accomplishments that our alumni have participated in. Simply click on a geographic region to be able to read more about that student profile and all of the good that they're contributing to our university and our global economy. We greatly encourage you to upload a video and share your accomplishments on Grad World FSU, as we would love to brag on all of the great work that you are doing. <laughs> We do know that a lot of you were disappointed that you weren't going to hear your names read during the ceremony. So the College of Arts and Sciences has a very special surprise for you. Through a collaboration with the college's faculty members, we have created a video for each department that recognizes each of you by name. We have also created a digital program that includes the name of every College of Arts and Sciences graduate that, we, that will be available for download. The videos of your special graduation ceremonies go live tomorrow morning, and you can access them at commencement.fsu.edu. You can download the PDF program from the college's website tomorrow morning as well. To conclude our celebration, we welcome FSU Alumni Association board member and class of 2002 graduate, Dazi Lenore. Good morning, everybody. And thank you so much for that wonderful welcome, Michelle. Um, as she's already mentioned, my name is Dazi Lenore. I am originally from Rock Hill, South Carolina, and I matriculated to FSU in Tallahassee back in, the, in August of 1998. I completed my Bachelor's of Arts degree in English Literature with emphasis in business in spring of 2002, and remained in Tallahassee to complete my Master's in Sports Administration which I finished in summer of 2003. I subsequently um, continued my education much later 
when I went to law school and practiced law in Tallahassee to start at Parks and Crump. Um, both uh, Attorney Parks and Attorney Crump are FSU law graduates, where I practice personal injury law, wrongful death claims. And I have practiced law for the last seven years until recently when I opened an all-state insurance agency here in Kissimmee, Florida, where I have kind of um, married the worlds of sales and um, the law um, and sharing my expertise, if you will, about insurance. And so I just wanted to share a few um, memorable moments that I had as a, an undergraduate student at FSU. Um, one of the most memorable things, and I have several, is that I was a member of the Guardian and Gold Girls, which is no longer an organization on campus, but I had the privilege of recruiting um, unofficially and officially through the football department. And back then, um, Coach Bowden was um, leading our team. And one of the cool things that I was able to do during official visits was to go to his house for dessert. Um, after we had dinner with the recruits um, at the uh, stadium, we would go over. And although he could never remember my name specifically, and with a name like Dazi, I don't blame him, um, he would always uh, look at me when he saw me and said, hey, Rock Hill, how you doing? Um, and we did have several players from my hometown, and I thought that was pretty neat that he could at least acknowledge where I was from. Um, I was also able to um, be involved in student government and back when we only had one parking garage on campus um, and be um, able to see the 20 year plan and how campus was going to enclose as it has, whereas we used to could drive between Pensacola Street and the stadium and now that's all grass. So it was pretty neat to be a part um, of those plans and also had the opportunity to join my sorority, which I'm still a very active member of today. I was able to go to three national championship games back to back to back, the Fiesta, the Sugar, and the Orange, of which we did win in 2000 when we played Virginia Tech in New Orleans, which was a very, very cool thing to be a part of. And I was voted um, by my, my classmates in 2001 to be homecoming princess, which I thought was pretty, um, pretty neat as well. If I had a few words of wisdom to share. I know that y'all are glad that comp exams are over. I know I was when I was um, coming out of uh, my grad program. I had several jobs um, and I was glad to be able to kind of get into the actual professional world. And I think that my journey has been very different and I have had, I guess, several careers. But one of the first things that I would share is the never give up on your dreams. Um, I recall writing in my in my senior book coming out of high school that I wanted to be a corporate lawyer. And that dream of going to law school never left me. Although I left Tallahassee and moved to Indianapolis and worked for the Indiana Pacers. Um, I then had a career in pharmaceutical sales and subsequently um, ended up going to law school. But um, my grandmother, who was a huge influence in my life, always said, when are you gonna do what you really wanna do? So if this is not your first degree, um, as I've you know, went back to school more than one time. Congratulations to you for not giving up. Um, I know that wonderful things are ahead for you. And this is a very exciting time despite what's going on in our country and our communities right now. I would also encourage you to be willing to take risks. Um, I know that going back to school at 29 was a very scary thing for me. And leaving Tallahassee and going to Indianapolis where I knew nobody was also um, challenging, but that, um, it's always great to venture out because you meet new people and you learn, learn new things. And all of those experiences ultimately um, build upon one another to make you into the person and the professional that you are and that you will be. And the last thing um, I would share with you is that, um, you know, it's so super important to stay connected to the university that we all love and hold so near and dear. You know, whether you're coming back um, for homecoming or you're coming back for a football game or you're just coming back to see your favorite professor, you know, being involved in the Alumni Association has been so huge for me. Every city I've moved to, I found Seminole family. When I went to Indianapolis, I found Seminole family. When I subsequently moved to Washington, D.C., I played flag football with the Seminole Club and watched football games. When I came to Orlando, I was able to join the um, Alumni Board of Directors. Um, here in the local area and serve as secretary before becoming a member of the National Board of Directors. 
in Tallahassee. So I would encourage you to stay connected, um, to become a member, and to utilize the Alumni Association for what it, what it is. Um, we're a great resource. We're always here. Um, there's always a Seminole nearby. No matter where you are, we are family extended nationwide and internationally. So I just want to congratulate everybody. Um, and on behalf of the FSU Alumni Association, I want to welcome you to the over 358,000 FSU alumni that you are joining today. Congratulations on all of your accomplishments for achieving all of your goals. And we just want to cheers to you. If everybody could raise your glasses, your cups, your bottles of water, whatever you've got, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you so much for your words of wisdom, Dazi. Congratulations to the class of 2020. It was such an honor to spend this time with you and recognize your wonderful accomplishments. We're so excited to welcome you to the Florida State University alumni family. We encourage all of you and your supporters to please join us in one last loud and proud Go Knowles. Three, two, one, Go Knowles! Congratulations again, and we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you for joining us today. Ha, ha, ha.